so thankful to God for bringing me here. And He gave me a spiritual family, and I have a space to learn and grow, and really make me, you know, feel safe and really encouraged by the people. My name is Anna Cassand, and I've been at Bethel for 23 years. Ten years ago, I was facing open heart surgery. Someone heard about it. I was going to be going to the hospital for surgery, and we were having a special service that night, and they asked me to come. And after the service, um, they're about. 12 of the pastors and leaders all came forward and uh, laid hands on me and prayed for me, um, getting ready to go into that surgery. And that really, um, it meant a lot, gave me a lot of peace going into that. When I first came here, I felt that. The very first day, I felt, wow, these people really know each other, they love each other, they care about each other. And it almost pushed me away because it wasn't what I was used to. And I was like, I'm not letting those people in. But those people now have become me. I'm a part of the family at Bethel and I want people to feel that love. I want people to feel that connection when they walk in that God is here and we love you. We love where you are and we're going to walk with you. Bethel is truly a place that has set their heart and everything they have on trying to reach the city to literally touch the world. Again, I don't think we'd be sitting here if that wasn't the case. It's been the place where not only God cleaned me up, but also put me back on mission. It showed me what kind of part I had to play in the Great Commission. I moved down here to be a high school teacher, high school math, and I found out a couple days after moving down here that I had stage three ovarian cancer. Um, from there, I started teaching in an inner city public school in Nashville, and one of my students invited me to church in October, which was around the same time I was told I had two months to live. So I came to church, got saved on that day. Uh, Pastor Bert was talking to us out of Genesis 12 when God gives you, God pulls you from your family and your friends and the place you were living and puts you where he wants you. And the message really spoke to me and I was crying in front of my students um, and got saved that day, gave my life to Jesus and really started just running towards the Lord since then, full out sprint. And we did a church fast in January and I got a phone call from my doctors the second day of the fast that I was completely and miraculously healed even though I had never told anyone what was going on and I never asked to be prayed for. Just um, thought I had two months to live and was gonna live for Jesus while the time was there. In 2008, I was involved in a car accident. Uh, my boyfriend and I had been drinking and driving and an 82 year old couple died on impact. Um, so when I came to Bethel, I was, um, I was really hurting. I was, uh, I was grieved and I, I, I couldn't understand why God had taken their lives and spared mine. Um, when I gave my, my life to the Lord, um, it was a process, um, the grieving process. I believed that God had forgiven me, but learning how to forgive myself was, was more difficult. And um, the church really just surrounded me and loved me and, and showed me what it meant to walk in forgiveness and uh, to accept God's forgiveness and to learn how to forgive myself. Over the last year, we have found ourselves in the midst of a great harvest. Um, it was a word that was spoken um, over a year ago just to prepare for the harvest. And we have seen so many people give their lives to the Lord and, and become members of this church. And, and really, I'm feeling that God is calling us to uh, broaden our nets. You know, when you talk about a harvest, I think of the next generation. They are rising up. We need an exciting place for them to be drawn to. When you're building a family and the family begins to grow, you're excited to make an addition to your house, to your home. And Bethel is building where we are, and I'm excited that children of God are coming to this house and we are bursting at the seams, and God is like, it's time to build, make the additions to fit the family that is coming, the children that are coming to this house. Since I've been here for nine years, it's completely been transformed. Just the size of the community, 
and the need here is only increased. And the size of this physical building has got to grow because internally we're just busting at the seams. You can start by being involved by just starting to pray about your involvement and praying for the people who are already involved. God is doing something here at this church and I just want to encourage you to be a part of it, whether it be partnering with us financially or through prayer or just encouraging other people to partner financially if you can't. I am so excited about this building project, but I'm mostly excited about partnering with you and being obedient to God and building His kingdom. The testimonies you've heard are just a glimpse of the great things that God is doing in the lives of people here at Bethel. Now imagine with me that as God expands our capacity, triples our capacity, how many more stories we'll have just like that of people who learn to reach the city and touch the world. Isn't that amazing? Now I know what all of you must be thinking. How long is this going to take? Well, I want you to know the process has already begun and we hope within the next 12 months that we'll be breaking ground. There are a few times in life where we all get the opportunity to participate and actually win together. This is one of those times. You better be asking yourself right now, what can I do? My encouragement to you all is that you stay committed. Stay committed because it's not a man's plan. Mm. It's God's plan. We're all going to do it and it's going to be fun and it's going to be wonderful.